Hi, this is John, K9RZZ. Today's video is going to be on FM tuners and uh, modifying them for FMDX. I was at the thrift shop this morning, um, stopped by and found this JVC FX97 AM FM tuner for a very reasonable price. And I uh, thought I'd bring it home and uh, tweak it up a little bit. Um, it appears to be very sensitive. Here I'm listening to uh, WIXX out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, 101.1. That's 150 miles away. And the only antenna I have is the wire that was on the back of the radio. I'm sitting in the basement. So the band might be a little bit enhanced. But I think this is uh, going to be a very sensitive receiver. And uh, should be a good candidate for modification. Um, so this is the way it is. Right from the store. And then I'll show you uh, the work as I go along. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a better antenna connector on the back. Because I'll show you. Here's the back. Very simple. Very simple receiver. Got the, the tuner, the twin lead, and then for coax they just have a little clamp. So what I'll do is either over here or on the other side over here I'll put a F connector on. And since it is so uh, sensitive, I'm going to put in a, a switch with uh, an attenuator on there. So uh, when I put it on the big antennas that are up on the roof, I won't overload the receiver. And um, I'll just show you my setup here. So i got this audio coming out. i got an amplifier up on the shelf there. 30 lens. And speakers up there. So, um, for those of you who haven't seen... Uh, uh, Murata filters before. These are what the, the ceramic IF filters look like. Little three lead pieces like that. This is uh, These are some older ones. There's some 230 kilohertz. There's uh, 150 kilohertz. They're, usually they're uh, stock. They're like 320 or 280 kilohertz. Uh, what I'm going to do is put in now these, these are okay. These are SNR brand 150 kilohertz, which are pretty good. But you can do better. You can get these Murata 150 kilohertz. Oh, sorry, 110 kilohertz filters, and those are the ones you want. So the little three-pin, three-lead filters, and to make my life easier later on, I'm going to take this IC socket half of an IC socket and chop it up to make little filter sockets and I'll show you uh, as I go along what I do and my light just went out so uh, I'll be back in a minute and I'll show you the inside there okay uh, so there are uh, two screws one on each side three screws on the back and this is the very first time I'm opening it up with you so let's see what we got Remember, I've never seen this inside here before. So the circuit board itself is relatively small. Over here it looks like the power supply. And then the... Uh... Let's turn this around. Like that display board's over there. So this is our receiver board here. I have unplugged it from the wall. So there's no chance of me killing myself here. And uh, on the board, we are looking for three lead components. Now let's take a look here. And they look some. The filters look something like this, but this is a capacitor since it has two leads, and they're usually right in this area here somewhere. So uh, let's keep looking here. No, 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 no. Smells okay, nice. Okay, so it took like me a little while to find these filters. And uh, I finally did. So there's one right here. I don't think I can focus too well if I get too close. So there's one. And here's, here's a second one. So two-stage IFs. Um, the better tuners will have three stages, but I don't see a third one. I may find one later. Sometimes they're kind of hidden. But at least we've got two stages of filtering. 
which will help quite a bit. Okay, before I uh, tear into this tuner, uh, let's uh, see how it performs selectivity-wise um, before I do anything to it. Uh, WIXX out of Green Bay, about 150 miles away, still coming in pretty good. It's got a little bit of fading in it. But uh, there's two channels uh, we're going to make our comparisons before and after with. One is 93.1. Let me turn the muting off. Uh, there is a station in Chicago, 90 miles away on 93.1, that hopefully we'll be able to hear. Right now, it's just getting slop from 93.3. Okay, we should be able to hear this 93.1 when uh, this is done. And the other station we're going to look for is WTKM on 104.9. We have a very loud Spanish station on 104.7. But hopefully we'll be able to hear 104.9. We'll see how we do. So uh, that's the before test, and we'll uh, dig into it next. Okay, so uh, I very carefully removed the circuit board. Uh, I left as many cables on as I could just to make my life easier. This uh, receiver is very nice in that <clears throat> the circuit board has labels for all the parts. And I don't know if you can. I don't think I can focus on here. It won't focus. But each uh, component has lettering on it. So and underneath here it says CF102. And that's what I unsoldered. So here's the. This one is the original, and it's probably 280 or 320 kilohertz. Sounds pretty wide. This is the Murata filter. I'm going to put in. I took a pencil and I wrote on the back 110. So that's what the width is. 110 kilohertz. So later on, I know. And instead of soldering that directly into the circuit board, I'm taking this IC socket and using a utility knife, cut it so that the filter will snap right in there. I just dropped it on the floor, but that's okay. And this is what it's going to look like. So I will solder that socket into the board, and then if I want to switch filters later on, it's very simple to do. And that's the way you do it. Okay, I got the filters in now. You can see it. There's one filter on top of the socket, and the socket soldered into the port. And there's the other one right in the middle. I'm leaving the cover off because I have more work to do, but I want to test it. Here's Chicago on 93.1. It's not coming in real good because I'm sitting in the basement. I'm using the same antenna as I did before. Just this piece of twin lead on the back. So that's 90 miles away. And there's my local on 93.3. Feel it in your heart. You can hear them in there. And you get, there's also a little bleed over, but it's not too bad. And the other one was 104.9. I'm going to have to play with the antenna a little bit. This is 35 miles away. They're playing polkas. And the trouble old station was on 104.7. That's pretty good. And Green Bay is gone. Can't hear them no more. I mean, if I put the antenna in just the right spot, you can still hear them. Uh, so next, uh, I'm going to uh, work on the antenna switch. B93.3, unbelievable by. Okay, well we're almost done now. 
Was it at work um, and plus while I was away, all of your on the right side there, I put a F connector for the antenna. Is the outside view? What could you see through a tiny opening that's less than one inch long? And then right next to that, I put in a, a switch. It's a single pole. This one's a double pole, uh, single throw, push button switch. You could use a toggle switch, whatever you have. It's what I had laying around. It's from an old tuner that got uh, taken apart for parts. And I figured, well, I'd never used one of these, so I'll try it. So you push it in, and that puts the attenuator in, pull it out, and attenuator's out. And over there you see the other fewer potential antenna connectors and, and then go on the inside again plus it all happens in a facility that has received the 2010 the attenuator i use um what i found works best in my location is a 1k ohm resistor remember through a hole that small you can see one of them so when i put the attenuator in the, uh, the signal goes through the resistor on the wire and there you see where i soldered on to the your antenna connect the original antenna connector if you still want to use a dipole or a 300 ohm twin lead the connectors are still there you can still use it so i'm not losing any function i'm just uh gaining and otherwise bring it out okay we're all buttoned up now i got the cover back on i've got my external uh antenna that's up on the roof hooked up it's kind of pointing the goofy direction but uh we'll work with it uh right now we're listening to 93.1 uh, chicago the xrt and here, uh, attenuator is in. I don't know if you can hear the difference. There's a little bit of slop. It helps get rid of the slop if I do that. I'm going to turn it around. XRT, mine smell like honey. It's a new one from REM. Working with your hands and your brains. Work is built. Studio this weekend, and I've got all kinds of music stacked up.